Chris will take a final vote for a minimum wage increase in Hawaii. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the state capitol with more in the process. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. And here joining us on Wake Up Today to tell us more about it, we have Senate President Ron Kochi. Good morning, Ron Kochi. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up Today. We appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure to be here. So, before this final vote, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts? I'm excited. Uh, you know, we've been trying on the Senate since 2019 to yeah. increase the minimum wage. So we finally got in there, and while it's not by 2026, it'll be 2028, uh, the minimum wage is going up. The Senate didn't favor increasing the tip credit, but in the negotiated deal, it will go up. And I know for restaurants, especially the small mom and pops, that was an important element. And we have the earned income tax credit in the bill as well, and it's estimated it will be worth about $425 for family. Uh, for those who have said that we are not really taking into account the concerns of businesses, last year we paid $700 million in the unemployment insurance funds uh, loan and $40 million of interest to make sure that their contributions wouldn't rise so high as to put them out of business. And this year we're also passing a bill that will eliminate the two-year look back that is required in calculating employers contributions if you look back at the two years of COVID they'd have a huge increase in that fee and instead we've flattened out the contribution over the next eight years to try to make sure that we don't uh, too adversely impact businesses especially small business so minimum wage would go up if passed would go up to twelve dollars starting october first and then it would increase in increments by 2028 but is the lifestyle just going to get easier because already things are just so pricey is twelve dollars really enough to make a living out here in hawaii or even fourteen dollars in the future I don't think living is going to get easier with the uncertainty with, between Russia and Ukraine and inflation going where it is. Uh, you know, it's going to continue to be challenging, but we've also put in a tax credit for a family of four uh, earning 100000 or less. They'll get 300 uh, for each person, so that'll be another 1200 on top of the earned income tax credit to assist in what they're doing. We have a billion dollar commitment to affordable housing. Uh, we have a uh, <clears throat> billion dollars committed to help Native Hawaiians in various areas of the budget. And so we're <clears throat> we're trying to work to make life easier, but yeah. life just always in, isn't easy. And, and a norm out here is people are always working two or three jobs. Yeah, with this minimum wage increase, is that still going to be happening? Uh, you know, we'll just have to see where uh, where the prices go. But I think the reality is very few people are being paid minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, you know, it's been challenging for employers to recruit employees, and they've had to offer higher wages or hybrid working uh, options uh, as tools to try to entice workers to choose their company to come and work for. Senate President Ron Kochi, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. We look forward to see more future developments with what happens. Thank, Thank you. you. And for more details as to this final vote taking place later on today, you can visit our website at KH12.com and we'll post you with any more developments and reactions in tonight's newscast. Reporting out here at the State Capitol, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, work for Hawaii. All right, it's a much anticipated vote. Thanks so much, Dallas. Coming up next, we'll have another live look at your traffic trouble spots and in your forecast, how long you should keep that umbrella handy. Plus, how does pizza sell for breakfast? Good.